Horizon Forbidden West was one of Sony's biggest releases on PC this year. The sequel to the critically acclaimed Horizon Zero Dawn, Horizon Forbidden West promises to deliver an unforgettable gaming experience for both newcomers and fans of the series alike. But how does the PC port stand up? Taking a look at VRAM usage, and this game is pretty unique in the fact that it does not support any sort of ray tracing, which makes this chart pretty simple to read. At 900p and very low quality settings, the game uses just a little under 5GB, scaling all the way up to 6GB at 4K. Bumping up to very high does push up the VRAM usage to just about 8GB for most of the resolution settings, and a little over that for 4K. Gamers with 4GB of VRAM should probably stick to very low, with very high being better suited for cards with 8GB. At 1080p, very high quality settings, so we can see that even the slowest card on our list, the RTX 3050, comes in at 38.6 FPS, which is pretty good for this game since if you play on a PlayStation, you'll have either a 30 FPS option or a 60 FPS option. Speaking of 60 FPS, the RX 5700 XT does manage 60.3 FPS, which is pretty good considering it's one of the oldest cards that we're testing. The RTX 4060 Ti, 16GB and 8GB variants both achieve 77 FPS. And the fastest card in our testing is none other than the RTX 4090, being 158.9 FPS, followed closely by the RX 7900 XTX at 143.8. Bumping up the resolution to 1440p does bring down performance a little bit, with the RTX 4070 Ti Super setting the baseline for what you need to achieve 100 FPS. 60 FPS can still be achieved on the RX 6700 XT, and for the green team, you can achieve that with the aging RTX 2080 Ti. The RTX 3050 does now just fall slightly below 30 FPS, meaning at these settings, now the RTX 3060 is the baseline at 41 FPS. The resolution bump to 4K though is too much for the 3060, and now you'll need a 3060 Ti if you are looking to play at 30 FPS. If you are looking for 60 FPS though, you are going to need a pretty powerful card, with an RX 7900 XT being the minimum for the red team, and an RTX 3090 Ti being the minimum for the green team. While that might be disheartening for 60 FPS fans, that does leave loads of cards available in that 30 to 60 FPS zone. It's a pretty demanding game at 4K, but if you have a semi-recent card and are okay with 30 FPS, you should be good to go.